So discovering the Higgs is not just adding another quark or another lepton to the theory. It's really introducing a new type of particle that has a very fundamentally different characteristic. It proves that the Higgs field is real. And it's actually the Higgs field that is necessary to add mass to all the other particles in the standard model. The unique thing about the Higgs is that it has to be there at all places, uh, even if you haven't produced ripples on the Higgs field pond. Essentially what we've done with these high energy proton-proton collisions at the LHC is we've thrown a rock into this pond with enough energy to produce ripples. And we've observed the ripples and therefore we conclude that the pond, or by analogy the Higgs field, must be real. And the standard model makes all kinds of predictions about what its properties should be. And so we really would like to measure these properties and compare them with the predictions. It's also entirely possible there are other Higgs bosons beyond the simplest one that we may have found. And that would tell us uh, something very interesting about nature that we don't know right now. Well, Purdue faculty and many, many Purdue students and scientists and technicians have made major contributions to elements of the detector, both uh, the innermost part of the tracking detector and also the outermost part of the muon detectors. Uh, they also host one of the largest uh, centers where the data is processed and stored from the CMS experiment.